we can do better. That is the consensus from outside scientists reacting to some surprising pictures a former worker says he took inside the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. Now, the Fox 5 I team obtained photos that show the sloppy conditions at what's considered to be the leading public health institution in the country. Well, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis returns now. You've got some new pictures and even some new concerns. That's right, Sine and Russ. Yeah, the pictures were taken by someone working for a private company hired by the CDC to maintain its buildings. Workers for Four Seasons Environmental are involved in a labor dispute right now, claiming the company puts their safety at risk. Late one night in July 2014, a Four Seasons Environmental contract worker at the CDC says he came upon a puzzling scene. It's like a handmade level three lab. Level three, high containment lab, where the sign said scientists were studying the potentially fatal MERS virus. Instead of being properly, I mean properly closed, they sealed up the door. Sealed up a viral diseases lab with gobs of silicone caulk, just like someone did with the gaskets holding the seal on this autoclave, a machine that disinfects equipment in the CDC's high containment labs. To me, it's, it's like putting duct tape on a space shuttle. The CDC declined our offer to look at the pictures, saying the work here is risky and keeping this risk to an absolute minimum is essential. Contractor Four Seasons said it's investigating any alleged safety issues to verify how they were resolved. Resolved. Neither would answer specific questions about what Jack Turner says he saw while working the night shift in Building 18. But outside scientists are talking, including Sean Kaufman, an infectious disease control expert and former CDC researcher who now runs behavioral based improvement solutions in Metro Atlanta. You are taking those images at the leading public health institution in the United States of America. We could do better than that. We can do far better than that. If you are pulling out silicone sealants to seal doors and autoclaves, quite honestly, look, we, we can do better. But he points out that none of the pictures proves a true safety threat to the public. To me, I think there's more of a security issue rather than a safety one. Like this secured door left open. Union organizers um, say it happens more years. than it should. The workers have told me about security breaches. Um, they've told me stories about people holding the door open for each other to sensitive areas. What do we want? Contract. What do we want? It? Four Seasons workers at the CDC voted last year to organize, but the company challenged the vote and has refused to negotiate. One of the protesters on this day was Everett Johnson, and he says the company did put his safety at risk. Did you know immediately that you cut off your finger? No, I knew it was some damage. But I didn't know how bad it was because it happened so fast. In December 2014, so Johnson lost hand. part of his finger while working on the roof of CDC Building 23. He says his supervisor moved a flashlight as Johnson was trying to slow down an exhaust fan. You blame the company for this? Yeah, because I don't think I should have been up there uh, in the dark at night. The next morning, they found his fingertip and stitched it back on. And preventive maintenance should have waited and it should have been daylight. Four Seasons would not answer questions about what happened to Johnson. Last month, the company fired Jack Turner, the man who shot all those late night pictures and videos. Your guys aren't scientists. Mm -hmm. What makes them any better at deciding whether something is unsafe? They don't have a vested interest in not reporting safety issues. Other people might. The CDC has had to explain a string of embarrassing safety mishaps, including potentially exposing unprotected staff in Building 18 to live anthrax. Last October, an outside review of the CDC found apprehension about the possibility of retribution if staff, especially contractors, report accidents or safety concerns. It encouraged the CDC to work on building trust, but some say not wanting to look at a worker's evidence is a bad sign for progress. If CDC is in this active state of improving its safety programs and they get a call from someone that says we have some images that we think are of, of great concern you may be interested in and they say we're not interested in seeing them, that to me is, is an indicator that yet again the agency is not necessarily wanting to take steps forward to address safety concerns. 
Well, since our original story aired, Four Seasons employees tell me they've seen an increase in safety officers being on the job. The company has had the contract at the CDC for 20 years, and I've heard from other Four Seasons workers who say they're very proud of their safety record there. Well, Mr. Johnson's injury with his finger mm -hmm. being cut, I mean, that's especially disturbing. Did they give any official word at all on what happened? No, the union actually filed a FOIA request with the CDC back in June of last year asking for all information about that particular accident, and they say they've received no information since they filed that, that that request and we couldn't get any answers either when we tried asking about that yeah well you've made it clear but let's emphasize we're not talking about a threat to the public it's really potential threat to people who work there yeah the right? men and women who are inside there and yeah. the ones who aren't scientists are the ones who are bringing their concerns to us right. all right thanks so much Randy Randy thanks